Matthew chapter 7 verse 7. He said, ask and it shall be given you. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. Knock and it shall be opened. Ask. For everyone that asketh, receive it. Listen to these brothers and sisters. Answers are the products of questions. Until questions are asked, answers are never assessed. Especially the right questions. Brothers and sisters, don't be afraid to ask questions. Because God is looking for who to answer. Did you hear what I just said? Don't be afraid to ask questions. Because God is looking for who to answer. At the place of prayer, Abraham asked questions. Lord, if you find that so many righteous men in Sodom, will you still destroy it? God said no. David asked several questions. Should I pursue this troop? Will I overtake them? Will I recover everything? Yes, pursue. The people of Keila are coming. Saul is coming to Keila. Will they hand me over to him? Yes, they will. I am in this battle with the Philistines. Lord, where do I go? What do I do? Don't go like other times. Am I communicating at all? Divine direction is the backbone of spiritual conquerors. Do you know the reason why David lost no battle? He always asked God questions. It's the backbone of spiritual conquerors. You will not miss it another time. You will not miss it another time. If you are saying amen, say it like a believer. If you are saying amen, shout it like a believer. If you are saying amen, say the loudest believer, say amen. God's servant Bishop Yedeko said, after they had been given the certificate for the opening of the University Covenant University, while everybody was happy, he was still not happy. He held the certificate. And he said, oh Lord, are you in this thing? Or we just went to open something. Are you in it? If you are not in it, I will tear it now. And God said, I am the one. Go ahead. He said, at a point, they needed about two billion in the course of the construction. And they brought some people, some bank people to assist them, give them loan and facility, what they call, whatever. And he heard the voice of God said to him, he was not going to take it anyway, but he said, if God cannot build it, who can run it? And then God built it under seven months. Facility for people to come to the hostel within seven months. And he held the certificate. And, and then, and, and, and he told God, now we are, we are dedicated. What do we do? God said, lie down on the bare floor at the gate of the university and hand it over. And he lay down at the, at the bare floor. He said the heat from the ground entered his body as he lay down there. That was the last heat he ever felt regarding running that school. Moving swiftly because of hearing and asking. Is God speaking to someone here at all? 